Hello, today we're going to be making a Cantonese mincemeat dish. I'm going to be using some of this leftover broth that I have in the fridge. And this is a really quick dinner meal for our family. If I've got some mincemeat and I don't know what to make, this is my go-to because it's packed with flavor. And it looks like you made this amazing dinner, but really it's just onions and ginger, soy sauce with some mincemeat, and then you add in some eggs in the end if you want to. <laughs> just to add a little spin onto this delicious meal. So, let's make dinner. I start by getting my onions and my ginger ready. I use the Cuisinart to chop up my onions. I find that's the quickest way if you're doing a bunch of onions. So if you've got a food processor, you can do that here or just cut it up by knife. I've decided to cut mine into slices here, but you can also mince it if you want to. And then I prepared the ginger by slicing off the skin and chopping it fine. I'll leave the recipe for you linked down in the description box below, but I'm going to go ahead and I think triple it today. Make a whole batch so that way we can eat tomorrow and then maybe I'll have some extras for the freezer or lunches for the week. So if you're going to do that, just measure how much meat you have ahead and that way you can double or triple just like we're doing today. Next, heat up some peanut oil in a pan so that it can get hot and get ready to add in your meat once the oil is hot. I'm gonna add in all the meat and break it up into chunks so that it all cooks evenly. And I'll continue to stir this meat so that everything gets cooked really well. Now while the meat is cooking, I'm preparing the sauce. So I'm going to combine all the ingredients of the sauce in a bowl and have it ready. Now it really makes a difference to have light soy sauce and dark soy sauce, so get your hands on some dark soy sauce. That makes this recipe really good and you can really taste the difference if you don't include it. Now I almost forgot the white pepper. <laughs> Add in the white pepper at the end too here, that adds a nice touch to the sauce and have that ready.
Now once the beef is lightly browned and cooked through, add in the onions and the ginger that you prepared earlier and stir it through. Continue to cook it for about 5 minutes or until the onions are starting to look tender. Now in the meantime, I'm preparing a pot of rice. We love having rice with this dish, and so I'm gonna go ahead and cook that up while I'm waiting for uh, my main meal to get going. Once the onions are tender, add in the sauce and then cover it with the lid to bring it back up to a simmer. Now once the liquid is simmering, you can cook it for 10 minutes uncovered. Now while you're waiting for the sauce and the meat to cook together, you can so long prepare the cornstarch. This will just help the sauce around the beef thicken up just a little bit. Here I also add in some frozen peas or any other vegetables I have in the fridge. Like maybe some broccoli or cauliflower or even some mushrooms if you're feeling experimental. Now just before you add the cornstarch, stir it again just to make sure it's all mixed in nicely and then pour it into the meat. Stir it to mix it in well and then over time the broth should start to thicken. Stir it every now and then to make sure you're helping it kind of thicken up a little bit. Now once everything looks to be coming together nicely, crack some eggs into your pot and then cover it with a lid so that those eggs can cook for about maybe two to five minutes, somewhere in that range. Now here you want to make sure that the sauce doesn't come to a full boil because that's going to not help the cornstarch do its job. So you just want it to be lightly simmering. Once the eggs are done cooking, move the pan off of the heat.
Well, thank you for cooking dinner with me tonight. And if you found this video helpful, please like this video below and let the others know. And that really helps our channel. And if you like content like this, please stick around. I'm usually in the kitchen or out in the garden when it's a bit warmer. And so you'll usually find me making content around that. And if that is interesting to you, please subscribe and stick around. And you can catch some of our upcoming content. See ya. Bye.